Uh, Lucy and I met uh, on February 12, 1966, on a blind date. So I went to an all-boy high school. She went to a public school, and some mutual friends of ours um, arranged for a meeting. When I first saw Lucy, um, my thoughts were about well, she has beautiful hair, a pretty face, and uh, she had just a, a great smile. And if you had the opportunity to hear her laugh, you could pick her laugh out of a group of a thousand people. You'd say, Lucy's in the audience someplace. I can hear her laugh. <laughs> and you put the smile and the hair and the laugh together. And I just knew right away that I needed to spend a little bit more time with this woman and research if there was an opportunity that we could spend a life together. Uh, we've been married now for 45 years. We have two wonderful children and four great grandchildren uh, who we absolutely love dearly and cherish every moment that we have together with them. At age 62, Lucy retired and I had already been retired for a couple of years and we planned to travel the world and see more and more of our grandchildren. Uh, but on November 1st, 2010, uh, just five months after Lucy retired, uh, we got the information that Lucy had uh, early onset Alzheimer's and that our journey would change. I was kind of in denial about it at first and it, it didn't, it truly didn't sit in for uh, maybe a number of months. Um, and as things progressed, <clears throat> there was one particular day where it did sit in. I was driving home from work, listening to a really depressing song on the radio and thinking about my mom and I looked down at the title of this song and the title of the song was Where's My Mind? And uh, that's when it really hit me most. I remember my grandma before this illness and she was very active and she was always like really fun to be around and she was always, she was always like so happy. So it was me and Grammy and then versus my dad and my brother. And she was so active, just bending over, getting right back up, and we won the first time. And then uh, my dad's like, no, that's not okay. So we, he, we go again, and he like, he pushes my brother like over the line. It, it was <laughs> funny. It was fun. We had so many great memories, but now we're just making different types of memories that just aren't so great as they used to be. Alzheimer's is a unique illness. So there's not this playbook that you can go to or this group that you can go to or this person that you can go to and say, how do I do this? How do I make it work? The way I try and cope with this is, you know, when I see my mom and I am hanging out with her, I try and make her laugh because she has that infectious laugh and it makes me happy uh, to hear her laugh. So. All I really try to do is tell her a joke, and if I find one that sticks, I tell it to her over and over that all that night, and that's what that's what makes me happy. Once diagnosed, uh, we knew that we could probably do more, and we wanted to become poster children for this disease. Uh, we were fortunate to be able to uh, have a contact that led us to UCI Mind, and uh, we've been with UCI Mind for five years now and working very closely with their researchers and in their research program. And uh, our desire is to do what we can to um, help to find a cure for this disease. You know, I look at my dad and, and what he does day in and day out. He, he is on his game 100% of the time taking care of my mother. Thank you, Dad. When I look at Lucy today, I see the same hair, I see the same smile, I hear the same exuberant laugh. I just know that it's not the Lucy I fell in love with 50 years ago. This disease has robbed her and our family of the woman that we all love.